All right, so let's talk about AT&T TV now. Um, interestingly enough, I woke up this morning and um, I was invited by AT&T. You know, and AT&T is a pretty big company. You know, they're not small by any means, uh, and they gave me, you know, this ability to check all of their channels to test everything. Uh, I said, okay, sure, why not? I said, what do I have to do? I said, just make a video about it but please don't swear don't use any language stuff like that so i'm gonna not use any language i'm not gonna swear here uh so what i'm just mainly gonna do here is i'm gonna focus on giving you my honest technical aspect review of this this is not going to be me reviewing the pricing i don't know what the pricing is i haven't looked into it they haven't told me so i don't know what the pricing is that's something you guys will have to contact uh, AT&T yourself. Uh, go to their website, Facebook, Twitter, whatever. Talk to them about that. I'm just here to to let you know so far what my experience is with the AT&T TV Now. For those of you who don't know what the AT&T TV Now is, it's your original DirecTV Now app that really didn't do so well. It, it kind of... Uh, it kind of failed okay and, and people were unsubscribing on, on the big numbers due to the pricing it was very expensive so now they're changing their strategy they're changing their uh, trajectory they're moving to a different direction and uh, they changed it from DirecTV now to AT&T TV now so they totally removed DirecTV like that it's just DirecTV is nowhere to be found anymore <laughs> and um, I have to tell you, I have tested on my uh, Apple TV uh, 4K. I have tested on my DirecTV now. I mean, on my uh, uh, Nvidia Shield, Apple TV, Amazon Fire, Roku, and my Android phone Note uh, 9. And of course, the browser. What you're looking at is the browser on just a regular desktop PC and it's running really smooth so every device I tested on that app it ran smoothly and I was able to simultaneously watch the same thing on my phone and on my browser or on my TV and it was just like that it was super fast super smooth so I was really blown away I was really uh, well I don't know if I should say blown away because I know this is a big company it's a multi multi billionaire 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 uh, dollar company that has the, the the means necessary to bring the best possible quality out there with the servers and everything but still I was surprised just how fast this is like when you are switching between the channels like right what you're looking at here it's the uh, the guide and they got tons of stuff they got tons of stuff and um, I can only choose uh, news channels because I don't want to click on the sports channels because if I click on sports channels then this video will get blocked but when you click on the channel, it goes really fast, really quick, like right here. It takes like one, two, three seconds. Loads up pretty fast. Uh, no issues. Same thing here when you click to, uh, to CNN, uh, the CNBC, it loads up pretty fast. You can record, you can pause. Uh, all of this runs really smooth, even on a browser. And, and I haven't noticed this with PlayStation View. Sure, PlayStation View does uh, load channels fast, but they still lose the quality. They can't keep up to that 1080p. Sometimes they lose the quality. Here, you get an instant quality really fast, uh, really smooth, and there it is. Now, this is the commercial right now. As you can see, like two, three seconds, it loads up pretty, uh, pretty fast. And you can, of course, record, you can pause, you can go to the guide, and the same channel you were watching is going to be here. Uh, you can, you know, check it out, you can watch it while you're, that's a cool thing, while you're listening through your guide, looking at the guide, and the guide is pretty simple, while you're looking at the guide, you can uh, simply just go ahead and click over here and watch the, uh, what you, where you left off. You can just continue right here and watch where you left off on your channel right here on which is uh actually right over here right over there what I which, which I think is pretty cool while you're browsing you can still watch the channel that you were on 
your existing channel you were on you can still uh, look at your channel while you're listing other programs uh, and networks and they got tons of stuff man they got Fox Fox Sports 1 Fox Sports 2 they got Fox Florida Fox Sun uh, they got ESPN what's great about this they have <coughs> ESPN 2 ESPN News HD ESPN 2 HD ESPN 1 HD ESPN College and they got Fox Sports 1 Fox Sports 2 so with ESPN Fox Sports 1 Fox Sports 2 you're pretty much all set with the uh, the UFC prelims you can watch all of the prelims on the card just like we did this Saturday on the 241 card which was t -Pay versus DC and of course we all know how that ended up you know he took the body shots DC went down uh, Stipe won the title he got this uh, belt as a heavyweight champion again and then of course Nate Diaz proved himself that hey even though he didn't fight for three years the guy the kid still can hold its own and he won that fight pretty good you know so with the FX1 FX2 uh, FS1 FS2 I'm sorry with the FS1 and the FS2 you're always gonna be able to keep up with the uh, MMA and you'll be able to keep up with the not the, the NASCAR uh, same thing here with ESPN 1 ESPN 2 ESPN HD so you got tons of stuff in terms of sports so you're not gonna be missing out on sports you got all the news networks you got all the news networks for you to watch if you care about that uh, you got FXM FX HD FX FX HD as well you got the Golf Channel, you got the HBO, HBO Family, you got Cinemax, MSNBC, MTV, uh, NBC, Sports Network, which is pretty cool. Uh, so they got tons of stuff here uh, available. Now, the pricing, I'm not going to talk about the pricing because I don't know what the pricing is. I haven't looked into it. Uh, whether or not it's going to be expensive or not expensive, I don't know that. But I'm just here to tell you how I feel about the technical aspect the service meaning how does it run how does the app run and as you can see it runs pretty smooth even on a browser I'm using a browser I'm using Google Chrome and it runs smooth even on the browser it runs smooth even on the phone uh, like I said I was able to use simultaneously both my phone my laptop browser my apple tv my nvidia shield and my roku at the same time and i didn't have any like issues so that shows me that they're really aiming for top-notch quality speed and very reliable service and i think that's the important part because the the worst thing i the, the the one problem i had uh with these streaming services was the fact that it was always buffering there was that buffer you know you want to watch something you want to watch a football game you want to watch a TV show or documentary or whatever and I always felt that buffering was the issue you know that, 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 that buffering that that's constantly spinning okay now the pricing I don't know what the pricing is gonna be that's something you guys will have to uh, look into contact them contact AT&T talk to them about that uh, but if AT&T is watching this uh, video if I was you, I would try to make this as affordable as possible. Give people the choice. You can give them your package deals, and then you should also let them choose individually what sort of package they would like to create for themselves. Give them a choice. Let them choose. And I think if they do that, if they allow uh, the customers to choose what they want and how they want uh, their channel programming to be lined up then I think maybe that will help out in the wrong in the long run in my opinion um, now there is uh, look they got majority of stuff they got National Geographic uh, NBC Sports Network they got a lot of stuff but there is one uh, there's a couple of things missing obviously there's uh, the history channel is missing and discovery channel is missing now I'm pretty sure that AT&T can add History Channel down the road. I, I'm pretty sure they can make that deal with uh, with a History Network, uh, and I'm pretty sure the History Network will be added later on. 
depending on how well this go. I don't see that should I don't see that being a problem or being an issue for them. I can also see them adding stars and showtime down the road. Once they add stars, showtime with HBO and Cinemax and of course History Channel and Discovery Channel, I think that's pretty much uh it wraps it up. I mean you pretty much got everything you need. You got TNT, what's your NBA? You got TCM. Uh AMC is missing, yes, the AMC is not here, it's missing, that's another thing that, that kind of sucks. So if they can bring AMC, History, Discovery, Stars, and Showtime, if they can bring those five, I think they got themselves a pretty cool deal here. And the next step for them would be to give us a great pricing, give us a great deal on the pricing. And I think that's what people want to see. Uh, but look, all in all, this is really fast. When you click on the channel, as you can see, two to three seconds, uh, it loads up pretty fast. And there it is. It's full HD, man. Uh, it, it runs really fast. There it is. There's right there. And um, if you want to switch to another channel, you just click over here like this and you'll see how fast that runs let's go to the uh, business Fox business right here there it is two three seconds there it is right there loads up in HD really fast I think it's even faster than uh, what you get on your cable honestly uh, and look my my points of view are like this. This is my first impressions. Okay, I'm not sponsored by AT&T. I don't work for AT&T, but looking at this as somebody who is independent, I'm looking at this as an independent. And what I'm telling you right now is that this is pretty fast. This is pretty good quality, full HD. Every channel is full HD. That's a pretty big deal to have every channel in HD and the loading time is like two three seconds two three seconds we can even count it here let's click to to uh, fox news one two three so three seconds and it, and it loads up the hd and there you go and i'm using a browser i'm not even using their app i'm just using the browser and just look how fi how fast that is you can record the shows uh, you have the ability to record. You got your favorites. You got your TV shows. You got your movies. You can click on the movies, check, see what movies are playing right now. Uh, you can check the TV shows, see what TV shows they've got. Check the sports, see what kind of sports they have. Activities, what kind of events they have. You can check that out. And it's pretty easy. It's a pretty cool layout for you to check out. Uh, and I like the ability for you to uh, use a laptop, go through your laptop and, and scroll through your laptop. And if you don't want to use your laptop, you can use your uh, cell phone. And uh, cell phone works pretty good with cell phone. Or if you don't want to use your cell phone, you can use uh, G's. G Wiz. Today my brain is not working. You can you can use any device. Let me tell you, any device. I tested it on Nvidia Shield. I tested it on Amazon uh, Fire. I tested it on um, Roku. I've tested it on a bunch of different things, and, and it just uh, it runs as smooth as it can be. There's also your library. This is where you're going to have your cloud DVR. This is where your cloud DVR is and, and stuff that you record. I haven't recorded anything, but if I did record something, it would show up here. Um, I don't know, man. I, I, I kind of like it, man. And you have watch now, which means you can choose uh, what do you want to watch. You can go to um, on demand, check some of the on demand stuff if you want to. Premium series right here, Big Little Lies. I'm, I'm a huge fan of this TV show, man. Uh, as you all guys know, I love Nicole Kidman, dude. Like, that's like you know, she's like my favorite actress. She's my favorite actress, Nicole Kidman. Uh, there you go. She is, I mean, to me personally. Um, you got a lot of stuff here. 
You got uh, The Terror. You can watch this, The Terror. Uh, the show. That's on AMC, I believe. And, uh, oh, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Let's click on this. I'm kind of confused. The Terror. The second season. I thought I didn't have AMC. Wait a minute. I guess we do have AMC. Hold on. I I'm confused now. Uh, watch now. Uh, let me go to my... Um, let me go to my guide. I I'm kind of confused here. I thought we didn't have AMC. What the hell's going on here? Hold on. Uh, there's ABC. Uh, there's audience. This is like... Uh, audience pretty cool because this is like... Uh, like uh concert channel where they got a bunch of concerts there's bravo there's cinemax cmt comedy central i don't see amc so i don't know I'm, I'm, I'm look oh there's TCM uh, you know what it is they probably because I'm testing this they probably didn't include it with this test I think that's something it's a premium thing that you probably have to separately pay for it I think it's a premium thing where you have to separately pay for it that's why you know that's, that's what I don't know I'll have to contact them and ask them what's going on with that you know it says record the episode but then the channel is nowhere to be found so I'm kind of confused about that um, but as you can see it's pretty fast man uh, you know I'm being very kind of uh, careful like to what I show you here because I don't want to get blocked uh, but as you can see the quality is pretty darn good and uh, it's in it's in full HD, 1080p, upscale to 4K. It runs pretty fast, runs pretty smooth. And um, anyway, <clears throat> let me switch the channel. Like when you click, uh, like on a channel, it, it really uh, it it loads up pretty fast. As you can see, it's it, it's pretty fast. Loads up pretty fast. Great quality. Uh, I'm sure this will show up on on my uh, on my video. Uh, you can record. You can pause. Uh, you can favorite this if you want to. You can continue where you left off. You can rewind. You can. It's like having um. It's like having your cable in your house except you can take this with you so uh, I don't know man I, I think AT here's what I want to say and this is coming from uh, independent point of view I think what AT&T TV has here it's pretty good and if uh, if some of you from AT&T are watching this I think you have a great opportunity here's my advice to you AT&T if you want to take it or not you have a great opportunity here to make a great service for everybody in, everybody in North America, in the United States. You have a great opportunity here to bring out a really great service. But it will depend on how are you pricing it. Don't make the same mistake you made with, with DirecTV now. Uh, give out a good pricing on there. Let the people choose what they want. Give people a choice. You can have your own packages. You can have your own packages and you can, you know, sell those packages for those who want to choose those type of packages. But you should also let people choose on what they want. Let the people choose what they want and how they want it. Let them select the channels they want. Maybe they just want to watch HBO, Cinemax, Showtime, and Stars. Maybe they're just interested in that. Or maybe they just want to watch movie channels and they'll just select the movie channels. Or maybe they just want to watch movie channels and sports. Maybe they don't care about the uh, the news and, and the stock market and, and, and all that other stuff, all that other jazz. So I think if you let 
customers decide what they want and you give them opportunity to choose any channel they want bring out all of the channels get the AMC get the stars get the showtime get the uh, all the channels put them all in get everything everything that you have put it on here let the people choose let the people choose you know what there's your slogan at and I'm helping you out and I don't even work for you but I'm helping you out you choose that's your slogan you choose at and TV now you choose there you go you choose you choose what you want and if you give people that freedom without any contract without signing any kind of a contract if you give people that freedom I guarantee you people gonna be signing up with this like crazy they're gonna be canceling their you know uh, PlayStation views YouTube TV etc etc they're gonna be jumping onto this I'm telling you you guys got a great opportunity here you have an excellent opportunity to do something great but it's gonna be up to you on how you handle that like I said um, give people an option if you give people an option if you give people a choice I guarantee you they are gonna jump on it because I know what people want people want choice they want variety they don't want to be pressured to do something they don't want to do give them a choice let them choose let them choose what they want let them mix everything up make their own package no contract contract free let them make their own uh, package deals if you do this AT&T and if you're gonna listen to me if you're gonna listen to me I don't know maybe you will maybe you won't maybe I have some influence in some ways I don't know maybe I do but I'm gonna say it anyway if you want to be successful you have a great opportunity to do so but don't make the same mistake you did with DirecTV now learn from those mistakes you have a great opportunity here you get a great architecture here a great quality service here that runs really smooth really fast now the only thing left for you to do is get a good pricing make your own package deals that's fine but give the opportunity to people to make their own decisions on how they want what they want which channels they want let them choose let them choose and a no contract fee there is no contract uh, uh, signing up okay so if you do this I guarantee you you're gonna be successful and then you can thank me maybe you can hire me maybe you can hire me you know sponsor me or whatever you know just saying maybe just saying you choose how about that you choose I sound like a gesture in tour you choose you choose from the uh, the running man so I hope that they that they're gonna watch this video I hope they're gonna think about what I said here because you got a great thing going on here this is a great great quality full HD on every channel you guys are multi-billion dollar company you guys have the means necessary to make the best possible service you know and you have that opportunity you have that opportunity to do so and you should do so why not I mean if I was a CEO I definitely take that opportunity I take definitely take that risk what's the worst that can happen you can only succeed I, I, don't, I don't think you would fail if you follow this formula that I just gave you here all right guys well there you have it um, I know you guys have a lot of questions about some of my uh, community feed uh, stuff that I left yesterday and what's going on and all this other stuff I'm gonna save that for another video I'm not gonna talk about that here I'll save that for another video uh, but uh, we'll talk about that tomorrow uh, I don't want to talk about it here this is strictly for the AT&T TV now but I will explain what what that whole thing was all about I know there's some confusion some of you guys are wondering what's going on what's going on with mr. 4k well I'll explain it to you on another video tomorrow I'm not going to talk about it here okay so there you have it I hope you guys like this video like I said it's pretty cool it's pretty fast 
runs really fast um, I wish that I can show you more of these channels but I can't because if I do they will uh, the YouTube will block this uh, this video just remember I tested every device Nvidia Shield uh, F uh, Amazon Fire TV, Apple TV, uh, even my 930e uh, Google uh, Chromecast built-in uh, service. I've tested it on my phone, my iPhone, and my uh, Note 9 that I have. Note 9 runs smooth. I tested it all three of them at once with different... Uh, at different devices simultaneously it was running smooth running fast um, I tested it on the browser as you can see behind me I'm, I'm test I tested on the browser on your on, on the laptop runs pretty fast pretty smooth so um, like I said whether or not this will be successful it will entirely depend on the pricing so the pricing is the key so there you have it all right so i'll see you guys tomorrow um i'm doing a gamescom there's a gamescom tomorrow i'll do a gamescom live stream on tomorrow friday and saturday i'll focus mainly on sony sony gamescom kojima production gamescom and of course activision gamescom and also, I want to hear what the ex, or what the Google Stadia has to say. <clears throat> what what they're going to be, how they're going to be pricing this whole thing. I'm also curious about Google Stadia. Google Google Stadia will be in Germany, Gamescom. They're going to be talking about the pricings on on the Google Stadia service and how that's going to work. And also, I want to look into what Phil Spencer has to say about uh, the X Cloud and how's that going to work, and the pricing on that. Uh, with the Game Pass and, and the Xbox Live service, so, but I'm mainly focused honestly on Sony because I'm all of us are curious to hear what Sony has to say because they skipped E3 show, and we all want to know what the heck's going on with Sony, what the deal is because I'm sick and tired of these rumors, people just spitting out these rumors left and right. So I wanna, I'm kind of, you know, excited about that. So I'll see you guys tomorrow on the games, um. Uh, tomorrow's the 20th, so see you tomorrow, and I'll talk about uh, why I left those uh, comments on my community feed, what's going on, and, and I'll explain that tomorrow, you guys can ask me that, I'll explain that tomorrow, I don't want to explain it here, I'll explain it tomorrow, alright guys, I'll see you tomorrow, have a good one, take care.